Father, sorry. Um, so uh, we'll be we'll be coming up right on with that with uh, an any percent run. So wish him luck. Are you ready for countdown? Oh. Okay. Three, two, one, go. This is Assault Suit Vulcan. It's uh, called Cybernator in uh, Europe and USA. It's one of my favorite games for the SNES. I discovered it when I was 12, and it's like you're controlling a Mac, and you just, yeah, you blow stuff up, and that's basically it. Because of limited sound channels, the music will quite often will, so, will, will mess up quite often. And I really recommend checking out the soundtrack. It's one of my favorites for the SNES. What? Okay. Okay, well, this is the first boss. It's uh, like a big cylinder block that's pulled into a, a space shuttle, and it's really very easy, and you can't die on this even if you tried. And uh, it went pretty okay, except that I destroyed one of the cannons, which is uh, which cost me some time. But still, 118, no, 119 is still pretty close. One second slower than my PB. Is Plaat so good or not? Like, um, speedrunning this game is really fun because like 50% of the stages are out of scrollers, so you really can't do a lot. Uh, what I'll be doing here is uh, destroying a lot of uh, targets to uh, acquire an extra power-up chip, uh, which is done to manage uh, my uh, attack strength and shit for later levels. Like, uh, my primary attacker for now is the punch, and it really packs a punch. Oh, very funny, I know. Um, and it's like like the best weapon until you get the laser, which is the ray beam. It's like, it makes a hyper beam from Super Metroid look like, like a joke. That's powerful, that's how powerful it is. Seriously? Seriously? Grab it! Oh. No, no! Oh. Have I unpacked him not? Okay, that's echt fucked. Zomar denials. That's really never happened to me before. Marathon ghetto strats. Uh, so I have to farm for an extra power chip in the next level. That's really... That's okay, I, I think I can adjust to that. Just die already. Yeah. God damn. Beautiful soundtrack. Apparently that cannon decided not to be there, which is okay, I guess. And more beautiful explosions. Thank you. 
Like a lot of times you'll see me do use the jet boosters just before I hit the floor. That's because um, if you land hard, you'll drop through your, through your knees and uh, like that. And it takes a little bit of time. So over the run, it saves like, I don't know, 14, maybe 20 seconds or something. I don't know. Nee, raak dat ding dan. And I really like this epic battle background. It's like this meteor is falling down to earth and you have to like destroy these thrusters to prevent it. But you have like three minutes, which is like forever. So if you fail this mission, you really, really suck. I'm gonna farm some power chips for the missile, which I really need at level 3. So I hope they cooperate. Come on, come on, come on. Nay. Come here. Come here. Oh, this is going like really, really far. Away. Come here, you coward. Come on, come on, come on. Come to daddy. Toss, toss. Okay. Well, all that stress for nothing. Oh, and like in the European version, I don't know about the US version, there are no, um, like, the cutscenes are like locked. Most of the, uh, the dialogue in this game isn't locked. These are. Uh, and these have little, um, like, uh, uh, portraits that uh, show a little bit more emotion than just the raw text. And uh, during the final stage, there will be an added cutscene that's removed from the US and European version because Apparently it would be too shocking for little children to see something like that. But it's really, when you see it, it's... Why? Oh, and here I learned a new trick uh, recently by Skateboardist. I think his YouTube name is. Um, he has the world record on the Napalm uh, category. And he showed me that like, if you put the screen up to here, the enemy mech will appear almost instantly here. And I always uh, used to go all the way to the right and punch him to the left, which takes like 20 to 24 seconds more time. So I'm really thankful for him discovering that. And wow, my English is so on point today. As are my attacks. And the guy who just died was named Herman. <laughs> Why? Oh, and this is my favorite part of the game. It's really the most difficult part. Laser upgraded. 
And that's how powerful the laser is. Oh. Oh. farming these uh, mosquitoes for uh, some power chips because I really need the full power laser. Come on, just die already. Okay, that's good. Oh, RNG denial. So now I have to wait another turn for like them to spawn and give me a freaking power chip. Thank you. So that's like what? 10 seconds gone. Yeah. Look at how big that laser is. All that coverage. Come. Okay, that's good. possible to one cycle this boss on the PAL version but I haven't succeeded yet on the uh, Japanese version yet. But I haven't been playing this version very long for very long. This is probably my tenth time playing it I guess. But I've played the PAL version like a million times so Another one from Skateboard Artist, this damage boost. Makes you drop significantly faster. I don't know the control scheme of this game. It's actually pretty hard. Uh, one of uh, one of my friends, he was a pretty good gamer, uh, but he had no experience with this game, and I actually had to hold his hand through the entire playthrough so he would be able to play the game. Especially the final stage, which I'm entering now, is absolute murder if you don't know what you're doing. 
there's actually a chance I'll die here because there are some cutscenes that will pop up in the second part which really mess things up. I really don't know how to deal with that. I haven't adjusted yet. So um, I'll be using something I haven't used in the rest of the run before. And that's uh, placed on the R button is a shield which renders you impervious for any type of damage from any side. Um, and it's very easy to trigger. It, it's, it beats the, uh, the old strategy that I used, which was jumping and hovering over shots and avoiding shit, but that took like forever. So when I uh, discovered that I could use the shield, I saved like 20 seconds instantly. Okay. Whoa, just look at my health go. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, this is gonna be a close call. I can actually die at this boss now because I have zero health. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. cooperate, cooperate, please cooperate, please cooperate, please cooperate. Fuck! Okay, well, <sighs> poor health management in the second part of the stage really, really messed that up, but that's okay. This is usually, this is what usually is supposed to happen. See how, how little HP I actually lost? I would have actually survived if I've used this chat. Okay, this is the edit cutscene, which was deemed inappropriate. So, enjoy. It's graphic content. Yes, that's right. That pixel man just killed himself. Graphic violence, not suitable for kids. notify you when I get to the final boss. And up next there will be coming a segment with some really pretty 3D ceiling animation, which is really nice deta detail for a game that was released in 1992. Look at that ceiling, look at how 3D it is. Beautiful. <laughs> And here's the final boss. <laughs> Fucking Evangelion gun the mask. Just <laughs> Time. Oh. Oh, that's pretty okay, I guess.